How's it going? My name is Danny. I'm in sales with the Boathouse Group. Today we are at our Cape Coral dealership. Going to be giving you a brief overview of the features that come equipped on the Crown Line E270 XSS. So we'll start here at the bow of the boat. You're going to note this is a traditional bow rider hull. It's going to come to a full point at the nose and you'll see the shot of the bottom side of the running surface coming to that point all the way up front. Gives us ample space at the nose to work with as far as seating capacity and this layout allows us to configure a power windlass anchor up front as well, which I'm gonna show you here. So when you open up your front hatch of the locker here, you'll see we've got a Lumar stainless steel power windlass with chain and line, and you've got your windlass controls right here, which is important because this will allow you as a consumer to have your captain keep the boat positioned where you like, especially those days that you go to the beach. Maybe you got some waves you're working with, maybe you got some wind you're working with, or you just got boats in close proximity. This allows you to keep the boat positioned how you like at the helm, and you can have somebody come up, quickly release the windlass on the front side here, and then they can just lower it or raise it accordingly to get you set. So very convenient, very easy, and because it's in the anchor and it's through stem mounted, this allows you to keep it protected from the elements as best as possible. I like to highlight the forward seating in the 270 because uh, a man that's a little bit taller than myself that's six foot two, the way that they have positioned themselves up front, it allows me to very comfortably still be able to put my feet out without hitting the front bolster. I got plenty of space. You'll notice a small detail here, even just with the armrests here, it allows you to very easily relax. They have the recessed cup holders underneath on each side. So, you know, envision yourself out on a 70 degree day like today. You got a drink in hand, you got an easier place to relax. Grab handle here if you get into a little bit of rougher water, it just, they make it very convenient. And let's say you got three people that you wanna hang out up front. You can have two people sit here and you can have a third person even comfortably sit at the bow like so. So they give you ample space up front without sacrificing your seating capacity throughout the interior, which you'll see here shortly as well. So I always like to highlight that. And you're also gonna see they've got ample storage underneath all the seats. So this is on a bracket, hinge bracket. This is recessed all the way back underneath your helm. So we'll give you a wide shot so you can see just how cavernous this storage space is. You got space everywhere for all of your life vests, Coast Guard kit, bags, purses, whatever you need, you know, whatever you bring on for your day-to-day -day operations. And you'll see they actually have a little cooler box in the floor here as well. One last thing to note when you're up here in the bow, this is a little fender locker right here. So you can actually have your fender pre-tied, put it right down in here. You can actually fit two fenders if you like so that when you pull up to a restaurant or you're rafting up with another boat, you can say, hey Danny, can you grab one of those fenders quick, tie up, you've got a fender lock position right here. So you can have it pre-tied to one of your fender locks, pop it in so it's right there, makes things super easy and convenient in what would otherwise be a wasted space. All right, stepping through into the cockpit now, you'll notice the walk-through windshield here, and you'll also notice the depth that comes equipped. So having this kind of depth is really convenient because it comes equipped to be able to not only close off on the top side here, but you can also run your windscreen as well. So when you're going out on those sunset cruises or you're going out early in the morning, especially this time of year when it gets a little bit chilly, uh, you can feel the wind. To be able to fully encapsulate yourself in the cockpit and because the boat is so deep, you can actually be down underneath in that air pocket and it'll make a 10 to 15 degree difference those nights when you're out on the water. So really nice feature to have that comes standard with Crown Line uh, and it keeps you protected. So that's something that I like to highlight as well. I'm gonna show you guys here, you know, incorporated head space is great on the crown line. It's deep, it's easy to get down into. So it's something, you can, it's a one step down. I can get in here, I can sit up. I'm actually fairly comfortable. I can come on out and you guys will see the wide shot here to give you kind of the full scope, but you've got your freshwater sink in there that you can use to wipe down. You've got the electric porcelain pump out head with the holding tank. So wherever you go to fill up gas, just ask them to pump out if you've been using the head. Very straightforward system. It's very convenient and something that is good to have on those longer days out on the water. You'll note little lockbox here on the left-hand side. Keys are right here. Take them with you. Nice place to keep everything well confined for you. All right, so now we're sitting here at the helm. A couple things that I'd like to point out. First and foremost, uh, you see myself 
comfortably in being able to, while having the seat positioned forward, uh, I'm, I'm turning, looking at you guys and imagine uh, having your spouse in the seat next to you or having guests behind you. By having this cutout in the seat here, it allows me to very comfortably slide my position around while still being able to comfortably drive and be responsible. And that's one thing that, it's a small detail, but it's something that you'll find yourself using quite a bit. And a lot of people don't think that they would. Uh, and it's really nice to kind of point out. And now I'm going to segue into the actual layout of the dash itself. You notice I think Crownline does a really good job of cleaning up the look of the dash, especially in 2021. And you'll see this to come forward as well with their running the flush mounted garment in the dash now while still giving you analogs to reference as well but you're running your engine data through the garmin too via nema 2000 cable so a lot of data that goes into that the garmin is great especially for our market here in southwest florida it's going to be your best friend so you're going to learn how to use that in your day-to-day -day operation but you see even just with the stitched eyebrow over the top the glass acrylic paint they've really cleaned up the look of the dash nicely one highlight that i like is instead of the old plastic rocker switches that would fade out on you in a couple years and be unreliable. Now they're running stainless steel LED indicated push to start and it's on a stainless steel rail here as well. Uh, really nice fit and finish from Crownline this year and something that's going to hold up for you longevity wise well down the line. So just you know lifeline, life, lifetime of your investment is important and, and that's something that they've really prioritized this year. So they've got the adjustable wheel here to go up and down accordingly based on you know, how you're driving or maybe you're sitting up and you want to have it a little bit higher and you can easily do so so love that about the adjustable wheel trim tab indicators down the right hand side here very easy to work with while you're driving and underway arch controls so you've got the electric arch above us on this particular model so when you release the pins on either side you've got your arch button it's right here it's super easy you hit it forward and the arch very slowly comes down. It's not gonna fall on you. It's on hinged brackets. And you also have windlass controls at the dash as well. So I highlighted the windlass earlier. If you need to be able to release the windlass yourself as the captain, you have the ability to do so right here at the dash as well. So you can have somebody do it up front or you can do it at the dash here. So you got your wet sound stereo system outstanding here at AM, FM radio. Bluetooth is what most folks are doing these days, hooking up your phone via Bluetooth, playing that way. You also have a USB and auxiliary import as well, right here on the left-hand side. So, you know, you can run your USB there for charging capabilities, and you've got a dual USB on the left side as well for charging capabilities. This particular model is equipped with a digital 300 Suzuki. You see your push to start command controls here. Suzuki digital gauge here as well, so it's gonna give you everything you need as far as your fuel economy, your trim, your RPMs, very easily attainable and accessible right here. So that's something that you can cross reference with the data in your Garmin as well. Cup holder accessibility down underneath, so even as a captain, space for keys, wallet that you can throw down underneath just to free up your space, free and clear on the top side. So they've done a really nice job laying out the dash, making things very user friendly and giving you a longevity and lifetime of your investment, which is something that is very important to a consumer. Now we're gonna highlight some of the features here in the cockpit. I'm actually going to start with the huge cavernous in-floor storage. Ample space underneath. You'll notice it has a full gator liner in the interior. There's no carpet in here, and I'll highlight that underneath. They've done away with any carpet lining interior, and what this gator liner does is it is designed to help wick away moisture, which in a southern market like ours, mold and mildew is one of the top uh, combatants that we have that we have to work against, and this has done a phenomenal job of helping prevent against mold and mildew growth. You're going to see that throughout the entire interior. They've got it all sprayed and coated with it so that's very important uh, for preventing some of that mold and mildew growth which is so prevalent for us in the rainy season of may through october now if you look at the interior here huge in-floor locker obviously you know you can put uh, anything you need down here a lot of times you're going to have your life vest down here that you're not going to be using in your day-to-day -day operation that way it frees up your under seat storage for the things that you will you'll also note 
They have an incorporated drawer down underneath, which is designed for your table base and your tabletop. You can see those incorporated here. So you always know where your table is going to be. You always have a designated space for it. That way you don't just throw it down underneath. It's rattling around. You always know where it's gonna be. And where I sit right now, this is the most comfortable seat in the house. If you get anybody that wants to be comfortable, have them come sit back here. You know, you can comfortably fit two here, you can comfortably fit two here, and uh, easy conversation, but also being closer to the transit of the boat, this is gonna be very comfortable no matter the conditions. You'll notice uh, throughout most of my presentation here, we've been undercover. They do a really nice job of it. You see the arch above us, you see the coverage above us. Your entire cockpit here has ample coverage from the sun, from the rays. So for those that uh, may have fairer skin or just wanna stay protected, anywhere within the cockpit's gonna do so. And then if you wanna have sun with the rear lounger off the backside, you can flip the bed into the rear lounge position, get some sun that way, or you always have the forward seats that you can lay out up front for those that are trying to get as much sun as possible. So I highlighted it quickly, but you'll see underneath huge storage. You can see right now we've got the Bimini boot, the removable cup holders. We've got the full cover down underneath right now, and there's still plenty of space for more. Underneath on the back side here, we've got your dual battery switch and the maintainer as well. So having a dual battery system is really nice for those days that you go out to the beach. You're not running the motor, but you're still, you got your interior courtesy lights on. Obviously you're listening to music. The dual system allows you to be able to do so comfortably. And then they incorporate, you'll see this at the transom, they incorporate that battery charger so you can plug it in at the end of the day if you wanna make sure that you have 100% juice. I really like that Crown Line does that as a standard feature that comes with the boat. Recessed cup holders on either side so you've got easy accessibility for drinks. Again, this lounger is just very easy. You can sit back, relax, and be very comfortable. So now looking at the transom here, I love to lay out the spacing. You'll notice, you can see, they've got the moon rock matting at the back side here, super easy on your feet, non-slippery, so when it gets wet, you're not gonna have any issues there, but look at the space for walking to and from. So whether you're boarding your personal dock or whether you go to a restaurant, you don't have to worry about only being able to get on one side of the transom or the other. So I can get on and off right here at the port transom side and easily walk and not have to step over the splash while they got great walking space. I love that about Crown Line's transom because that's very important. You'll notice here at the back side, stainless steel pull-up cleats, so obviously you can push those down so that no one's you know, stubbing a toe on them or getting something caught in them. Freshwater wash down fill is easily accessible and I'll show you the fresh water hose here in just a second. Your fill is just here on the port side, very easily accessible. I love the little locker on the back side here. You've got access to both of your batteries underneath, but there's a net over them. That net is a protective. You can throw a fender back here and most importantly, typically, you're going to throw a docking line or two back here. So when you pull up to that restaurant, you can say, hey, Danny, can you grab, tie up a stern line? Super easy, great accessibility. You'll note both transom speakers off the backside, really nice when you go to the beach, so you can actually have nice sound. That's part of their patented social swim platform. You'll see they've got an incorporated ski tow bar, so if you're gonna do any water sports, pull any skiers, tubers, things of that nature, you have a place for a removable, it's not fixed, it's removable, ski tow bar, which will come up and be free and clear of your motor cowling. Running through the backside here, you see your gas fill, super easily accessible on the starboard side. Another pull-up stainless steel cleat here. And importantly for our market here in Florida, having the freshwater shower hose, the freshwater wash down, when you go to the beach for the day and you're coming back in at the end of the day and you just wanna wash down, get some of that salt off you, that's what this allows you to do. And this freshwater tank runs for both your transom shower here and for your sink in the head as well. Again, my name is Danny, salesman here at the Boathouse Group here at our Cape Coral dealership. That's just a brief overview of the feature-rich Crownline E270 XSS. We represent Crownline through the entire southwestern Florida corridor. We have locations here in Cape Coral, in Naples, and in Port Charlotte. Feel free to come see myself or any of our sales team. We'd love to provide any, any additional information. Feel free to check out. We got other walkthroughs on other brands, other models on our YouTube channel. Feel free to hit us up on Facebook. We're here to provide any information and hopefully get you into a boat soon. Thank you for joining me today.